Then there's the law of continuity. So Gestalt theory co seeks completeness. This is a tendency to resolve ambiguity or fill in missing data in such a way as to perceive whole objects. So our visual perception, how we interpret things, tends to be biased. And it's biased in that we tend to perceive continuous forms rather than disconnected segments. Now, you, this is also sometimes called good continuation. I've never heard of a bad continuation, but you can call it good continuation. So let's look at some examples. How many of you have seen this thing in blue up here? God, I hope it's everyone. If not, I'm really worried about you. Okay, what is it? It's the IBM logo. All right, very quickly, we look at that, I'm like, I know what that is. Even if you had never heard of IBM, you are still going to see, the mouse, there we go, you're still going to see the IBM. Now, if you break it into what components are actually there, what do you see? A bunch of lines. Right? That's not how we interpret it, though. We have a tendency to fill in this missing data so that it can be something that we can easily interpret. OK, what do you see with this one in the middle? This is not a trick question, either. What do you see? Sorry, what? A satellite. <laughs> I could see a satellite. Okay. Yeah, that's a good answer. Okay, an X. Our satellite has an X. A target. Actually, actually, I can see that too. Is it a dart? Actually, <laughs> okay, you're right. It is the back of a dart. It's a satellite and the back of a dart. Now, actually, that feeds in re really well to my law of continuity, right? Because what are you doing when you are saying that it's a satellite and a dart? You're trying to find the hole, right? You are putting everything together to perceive a whole object. Those are, I have to say, are the best answers I've gotten in this class for this picture. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this video in perpetuity. All right, so what, what do you actually see if you break it down into pieces? What are the pieces? Four lines in a circle. Four lines in a circle. Right, we have two blue lines, two orange lines, and a circle in the middle. But that's not how we interpret it when we immediately look at it. Now, here's one other thing. If we decide we're going to look at this as something a little less abstract than our, uh, the back of our dart or our satellite, and you're just looking for shapes, what are you seeing? Don't break it down. You see an X. And what's on top of the X? A circle. Now, why do we see an X? Because to us, these lines continue. Thus, continuity. All right, let's look at the last one. This is my favorite. What's that? The Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> You're right, it's the Loch Ness Monster. How many Loch Ness Monsters do we have up there? One. Are you sure? Yeah, it looks like one. Actually, you've seen a lawn ornament like that once. It's very cute. I wanted it. And find where to buy it. All right, so if we look at it literally, we see three different parts. But that's not how we interpret it. All right, so here we go. We, we continue just like that to see our sea serpent. This has to be the best slide now. I'm so happy. All right, so let's look at it in terms of how it's actually used when it comes to design. So we have two examples here. 
One is a logo and one is an interface. Actually, it's two different interfaces, by the way. And let's look at the top logo. What do you see? An H. It just so happens that that is the logo for a hotel. It might be Hilton. I don't know if it's Hilton. What's the other one? Hyatt? Hyatt or Hilton. I don't know which one. It's one of those two. It starts with an H. Now, here's one other thing that I want you to notice and pay attention to. When you look at that, where, does your, where do your eyes go? You have this very nice little swoop. Right? This over here. And it goes to the leaf. It's Canadian leaf, as one of your fellow students said. That is another aspect of continuity, right? Our eye has a tendency to follow shapes such as that. We see it as continuous. So we will go and we will actually move through one object to another object and see it as part of the whole. Actually, if you look at some studies, you find people actually like that. I'm not sure why. It's very pleasant or fluffy feeling. So you want to remember that when it comes to continuity, we have a tendency to continue beyond a shape to another shape and interpret it as one continuous shape. Let's look at our examples in terms of interfaces. So this top one up here. Right, this is one of those uh, control panels where you're saying, OK, I want my computer to turn off when I haven't used it for one minute, five minutes, one hour, never. Where do you see continuity here? OK, let me ask this a little bit differently. Is this one bar or two bars? It's one bar. But wait a minute. There's something in the middle. So is it one bar or two bar? It's one bar. That's how we perceive it. Now, if you look at it literally, where you have it cut off here, literally it's two bars. But you would say in reality, according to how we interpret information and how we use this, it's one bar. And here we have a toggle that we slide back and forth on the bar. That's how we interpret it. Let's look at this bottom one. Who knows what this is? Equalizer. It's an equalizer. So I want you to tell me what you see on this equalizer that shows continuity. The lines? Which lines? The red portion and the gray portion are part of the same. Right, so the red portion and the gray portion is how many lines? Actually, if you're looking at one. How many lines is that? It's one. Now, here's the really interesting part. Notice that if we actually look at it literally, look how dissimilar these are. They're two very different colors. Yet, we interpret it as one line, and again, there's a toggle. Why do you think that is? Is there anyone who has never seen an equalizer? No one. So we know it's an equalizer. We know how it's used. So that's how we interpret it. If we take this to the Amazon jungle and find one of the uh, un, what is it they call them? untouched tribes, I think they're going to see one line. Yeah, probably not. I know that's an extreme example of how our experience and culture can really affect our interpretation, but that's an important thing to think about. So here, this is also continuity, even though they are very dissimilar. We interpret it as, this is essentially a bar, and we are moving a toggle up and down. 